So we're at Lake Acaria in Adams County in very southwest Iowa. And what, what's going on today is we're releasing swans from the Kansas City Zoo in attempts that these swans can come back here, find mates, nest, and ultimately help restore a self-sustaining population here, not only to Iowa, but the Midwest as well. So I just wanted to welcome you, everybody, everybody that's here. Thank you all for coming out to Lake Icaria today to help us and to view the release of all these swans. Typically, we receive swans from other zoos in September. We have a, a captive holding site that we clip the one wing feather on those, keep those swans until spring, and then we have a release in the spring, what we feel is the best survival. We got the plant growth starting to come up, the open water, the swans are a little more older, a little more educated, and just hope for a little higher survival as a release here. I think it's really important for zoos to show what they do for conservation, because I think a lot of times visitors don't know everything that we do um, to protect wildlife. You know, being able to participate in an, a restoration program that actively releases animals right here in North America, you know, right in our backyards, where we can connect people to wildlife and to their environment, have them appreciate things like wetlands and clean water. I think that's what really engages and connects visitors. And then they want to take action and help out animals around them and internationally. Are you guys ready to release them? important for zoos to be involved in conservation and the Kansas City Zoo has really boosted their efforts in conservation initiatives in the last three to four years and that's mainly due to our visitors participation. Every admission ticket or membership sold a portion of that goes to our conservation fund and things like this would not be possible without them. So it's really rewarding again to see that wetland restoration, the swan restoration, and I really get a charge out of seeing the expressions on these kids and the excitement, all the energy. It's really quite cool to see all the passion and excitement from the kids that are here today. Being part of this program has really been one of the most rewarding things I've done in my career. Like, I get to be part of a program that is restoring wild populations, and our zoo gets to be part of that. I love promoting and facilitating conservation. I think that's just one of the favorite parts about this position.